This is a Chucky Beat production. Hello, my name is Shrikar Gadapali and I go to Evergreen Valley High School. I am a um, current junior right now and over the past summer I, I, I basically had a summer project of converting a gas go-kart to an, a fully electric powered go-kart. So before, before I got to the actual build, I had to do a lot of research on like exactly what components I'd be needing and how I would basically fit, fit all this stuff into my go-kart and wire everything up. So now I'll show you the exact parts and the reasoning behind why I chose um, every single part. So this was a two month project, um, excluding all of the research that I've done, but just the building and the mechanics took about two months. So I started by getting an MX Venom go-kart chassis, and I, I basically had a gasoline powered train. I took apart the gasoline tank, as well as the um, gasoline powered motor that it had on it and I got the bare chassis as it was without anything on it. So the first electric component that I invested my money into um, were these, were four, four, four deep cycle batteries. So I positioned two on either side of the go-kart and that was due to, that I wanted to um, distribute the weight equally and that would, that would result into um, equal acceleration as well as without um, losing any steering force on that so these each of these each of these um deep cycle batteries is 12 volts each so i purchased um four of these batteries in order to in order to create a 48 volt system i wired these four batteries in series to create that 48 volt system so after the batteries comes the controller and this is an all tracks dc motor controller and what this does it, it basically mediates between the batteries and then the motor which I'll talk about later but the all tracks um, controller basically takes the current from the batteries and amplifies it to the amount of current that the motor demands for so it's basically like a resistor that allows for a supply of current based on the throttle input so this is the gas pedal this is the brake pedal and this is the throttle this is the throttle that I got and it's a uh, 05k ohm. So what happens production. is when I press this gas pedal, the throttle moves. The throttle hand moves, and that this throttle is connected to the directly connected to the um, Altrex controller, and that tells the controller how much current it should supply should supply to the motor. So in between the motor and the controller, it's just not a direct connection. I have wired in two control um two contactors or solenoids. So this is. The main contactor and this is this is a reversing contactor both capable of 300 400 amps and in this go -kart, specific go-kart project i invested in into getting a reverse feature on this go-kart so as you can see i have a forward and reverse rocker switch as well as a basic key switch that i have wired into this into the mini circuit and, a, and within this mini circuit there's i have a I have a little little fuse here and this bigger bigger fuse is for the whole is for the bigger circuit with the motor and contactors so more into these um more to these contactors this main contactor is is the one that supply, basically um closes the circuit when whenever the throttle is pressed and it can it's, it's able to deliver the current when i supply the a motor for forward the forward direction and on the other hand this reversing contactor it's for the same purpose except for the reversing feature on this motor. And this is this is a this is a Mo, Mo Energy um, brushed DC motor, and it's capable of delivering or of using getting 300 amps and and it's it's a it's pretty powerful. It's, it can deliver about 10 10 horsepower um, right away. Good acceleration. Yeah, this is this is this is the ba this is the basic o overall summary of this whole 
go-kart and electric components within this thank you now without further ado let's take this for a ride and before before we go i just wanted to um, know i had some i had four racing slicks on this they're a little worn out but once they get warm they they seem to they seem to get um grab traction to the um road real quick and deliver that instantaneous acceleration which is what electric um like these this electric motors electric powertrain drivetrain are known for all right let's do it This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 production.